Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the metric system of measurement. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now we do have three systems of units of measure. The first one, we have the traditional or non-standard. The second one, we have the English system. And the third one, we have the metric system. So we're already done class in discussing the traditional or non-standard as well as the English system. Now, in today's video class, we'll be focusing on the metric system. So, once again, class, if you want to learn more with regards to non-standard and English system, I will just put the link on the description down below. Feel free to see the video class. Now, what is metric system of measurement? The metric system of measurement is also called as the SI system. It is a rational and comprehensive system of measurement that simplifies the complexities of measuring various physical quantities. It is the most widely used system of measurement worldwide, utilized not only in science, but also in everyday context. So therefore, because we can say that the metric system of measurement is the most commonly used measurement, not only in our country, Philippines, but also in other countries. Now let's talk about the history of metric system. The history of metric system began during the age of enlightenment with measures of length and weight derived from nature. Along with their decimal multiples and fractions, the system became the standard of France and Europe within half a century. In 1799, France officially adopted the metric system after the existing system became impractical for trade. The metric system was based on the kilogram and the meter and units were interrelated. Let's talk about the history of metric system in the Philippines. The Philippines uses the metric system of measurement. Since 1860, when the nation was still under Spanish colonial rule, the metric system has been mandatory in the Philippines. On the other hand, Philippines still use some English units such as feet, inches, and degrees Celsius. These units are ingrained in our daily lives, and we often to use them for everyday measurements like height, body temperature, and distances. While the Philippines has officially adopted the SI system or the metric system, some English units remain common in everyday life. That's why class in our country nowadays in the Philippines, we're actually using the combination of the English system and the metric system. Example for that one class in finding our height, there are other companies that they will be measuring your height by using feet and inches. Feet and inches, those are example of the English units and other companies that will be measuring your height by using meters, and meters is one of the examples for the metric units. So it's actually class the combination of the English system and the metric system in our country nowadays in the Philippines. Now let's talk about the types of units of metric system of measurement. So the first unit, we have the unit length. The second unit, we have the unit mass. And the third unit, we have the unit capacity. So let's explain more class with regards to the unit length. Metric system units of length, so we have kilometers, the abbreviation that is km, hectometer that would be hm, and then decameter that would be dam, meter that would be m, and then decimeter that would be dm, centimeter the abbreviation is cm, and then millimeter that would be mm. And the conversion class, we have one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, and then one hectometer is equal to 100 meters, and then one decameter is equal to 10 meters, one meter is equal to one meter, or one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, one decimeter is equal to 0 0.1 meter, and then one centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meter, and then one millimeter is equal to 0 0.001 meter. Now, with regards to the conversion of units class, especially for the unit length, if you want to learn more on how to convert the units, I will just put the link on the description down below. We do have many examples class on how to convert the unit length. Now, let's talk about the metric system units of mass. So, the first unit for mass, we have kilogram and the abbreviation that would be kg. We have hectogram and that would be hg. We have decagram that would be dag. Gram that would be g. Decigram, that would be DG, centigram, that would be CG, and then milligram, that would be MG. Now, the conversion class 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, 1 hectogram is equal to 100 grams, 1 decagram is equal to 10 grams, 
1 gram is equal to 1 gram or 1 gram is equal to 100 centigrams. 1 decigram is equal to 0 0.1 gram. 1 centigram is equal to 0 0.01 gram. And then 1 milligram is equal to 0 0.001 gram. Now, once again, class, with regards to the conversion of unit mass, if you want to learn more on how to convert unit mass, I will just put the link on the description down below. We do have many examples, class, on how to convert unit mass. Feel free to see the video, class. So let's talk about the metric system units of capacity. So the first unit, we have kiloliter, and the abbreviation, that would be KL. Second unit, we have hectoliter, and that would be HL. We also have the kaliter, and that would be DAL. Liter, that would be L. Deciliter, that would be DL. Centiliter, that would be CL. And then milliliter, that would be ML. And the conversion class, we have 1 kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters. 1 hectoliter is equal to 100 liters. 1 decaliter is equal to 10 liters. 1 liter is equal to 1 liter or 1 liter is equal to 100 centiliters. 1 deciliter is equal to 0 0.1 liter. 1 centiliter is equal to 0 0.01 liter. 1 milliliter is equal to 0 0.001 liter. So once again, class, if you want to learn more with regards to the conversion of units of capacity, I will just put the link in the description down below. Feel free to see the video, class, because we do have many examples on how to convert units of capacity. All right, so that's it, class, with regards to the metric system. So once again, I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, class, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.